Okay, so this low pro bag is mainly built of two different sections, the top section and then the bottom section down here. The top section, I tend to think of it as an area to keep miscellaneous stuff. Uh, and then the bottom section being the section where you're going to keep most of your camera gear, your body, your lens, uh, or a couple lenses, they're going to go in the bottom section, and then all your random stuff is going to go in the top section. And that's how I've used it. You could use it any way you like. But uh, let me get through it. So the top section is an area where you have a lot of different pockets. So there's a zipper in the front that just opens up to um, a nice pouch, so nice and roomy. So you can keep stuff in there. Um, and then the top section is also where you have this large area. So this is a large area. Kind of get the side view there. And you can see that there's a lot of room to carry your stuff. So I'll fold this over. Um, there's a nice padded bottom. Nice padded bottom in there. Um, a couple pockets here. One's a mesh pocket. and. Um, one is a just nylon fabric uh, pocket and then over here in the back you have a zipper with another pocket. These pockets are fairly thin so this pouch or pocket is pretty thin and then you have this mesh pocket and then this other pocket here. You do have this little uh, hook. I think I've seen it used for keys. You can use it for anything really. But yeah, that's kind of like a big area. I'll show you a couple things that I can get in there. So I've generally been using this um, area for, uh, I have this, this is a, like a phone adapter, or a tripod adapter for a phone. So I could put my phone on a tripod. Uh, I have a, strap for my camera for carrying and then I always have a flashlight, a little flashlight I kind of like to put here. Um, yeah, and then I'll put like my shutter release, maybe a couple extra batteries for the shutter release in there and that's about all for the top section. Okay, now moving on to the bottom section, there's two clips here which release this flap. This is only a flap, there's no storage in here it looks like. Um, so that's sort of just to protect anybody, another layer of uh, defense and to prevent anybody from getting into the zipper area. So the bottom is, there's a main area which I'll get to, but this area is a zipper pouch with a pocket. So you have something to keep, you know, you keep stuff in there. Yeah, so in here I tend to keep um, filters. So I have a neutral density filter that I can slide right in there. Um, that's nice and protected. And then I have a polarizer filter that I can stick in there. That's kind of what I like to use that pouch for. Um, and then you can just close that and with those clips, you can tighten these if you want to, keep it nice and secure. But, um, the bottom is really made up of the larger section, and I'll get to that here. Okay guys, so here's the large area where you're going to basically be keeping all your stuff. The zipper goes all the way around, like so. Opens up a um, partial way. So this, this flap will open up, and that allows you to get to your uh, camera body. So generally, you'll keep your camera body in here like this or so. Um, so that'll go like that, okay? Uh, to get all to all your lenses and everything else that you have in the bag, you just have to open it all the way, and that opens up to this. So there's a couple different padded areas for you to store lenses. So over here you have a couple spots for lenses. So I tend to put a lens here and a lens here, so two lenses. Um, you know, it's fairly small lenses, I'll show you here. 
So this is a this is a wide angle lens. It's pretty pretty big. Um, I mean, it's probably the heavier one that I have. So that goes in there, and nice. I like to keep the lenses with the mounts up. That way, if I want to swap lenses, I could just take the cap off, and then I don't really have to, you know, take it out and then undo the cap. And so I just I like to kind of keep it in that direction. So I have the one lens there, and then I have this kind of kit lens, just a telephoto lens that I can fit in here. So this definitely fits in that direction. Now these little barriers or these foam walls here have Velcro, so you can take these out and you can readjust these if you need more room for a particular lens. Um, so then this middle section has a couple different or Velcro dividers, so you can keep stuff in there. Um, Yeah, and I tend to keep uh, some flash remotes um, down in there. I keep a couple of those in there. Um, and then on the other side, there's a longer wall. It's kind of tucked away here. Um, so I like to put my flash in there. So I just have this flash that I use. And then um, that can go in there with this diffuser. Okay. So I can go in there. And if you even wanted to, do the uh, the flash remote flash? Uh, you could put those in there too, and then use this for something else if you wanted. Um, and then that's it. So then your camera body kind of sits in there. Um, but you get, you want to be careful. There's a very large area, so you know if you have this open all the way like I do, the camera body is going to slide out. So be careful. Um, it's really kind of meant to just be closed like this most of the time. And you can get your camera in and out off the side. Yeah, so when you have your bag like this, Yeah, so when you have your bag, um, let's see. so you have your bag. Um, so when your bag's on, you can take off one of the straps and uh, turn the bag around to the side, unzip this this one fl half um, flap, put your camera in there. I don't know why they call it the fast pack, so you can easily get to your camera gear. Um, it's a little tricky with my shoulder straps back on. But uh, yeah, so you can, you know, swing your bag around, get your camera, quick. Okay. So this side of the bag features a pouch at the bottom. You could put a water bottle in there. You can also fit a tripod. I have a little bit of a tough time with a larger tripod, but uh, no problem for like this Joby Gorilla pod. Um, if you do have your tripod in there, here's a, a clip and a strap so that you can secure the top part of the tripod. Uh, that'll clip in there. I just, you just have to adjust it to fit your tripod. So you can use that for a tripod or a water bottle if you're hiking. Um, this clip tends to fall out um, kind of easily, so just make sure that this is always closed. Uh, tip for you. Uh, that's all that's on this side of the bag. Okay, so on this side of the bag we have a zipper for the storage of your laptop or a tablet. So open this up. 
They say that this will fit an 11 inch uh, laptop and then you can put a tablet into here. So there's two pockets. Um, so I haven't tried it with an iPad or anything. I was curious to see if my MacBook could fit in here. So I have this MacBook. This is a 13 inch model. Um, and I can get it in there, which is great. Um, I don't expect to really bring my uh, laptop around, but I think if, it was, if I were traveling, this would be a great bag to just carry everything. So I could get it in there. It's kind of snug. It's, it's, it is a little snug, but I, but I am able to get my 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro. Um, okay, so that's uh, out of the side of the bag. Other than that, you just have a pouch here, that's which we went over. Back of the bag, you have your shoulder straps, which are really nice and thick. These are really comfortable shoulder straps. There's a strap here uh, for chest support, so that can be used for chest support. Um, there's a couple uh, like elastic things, loops that you can you know hook things onto. So that's nice. Um, kind of like in the background, you get these straps out of the way. This is nice and padded. So this is nice thick padding with a really thick padding at the bottom, uh, you know where like your lumbar is. So nice lumbar support in this bag. Um, here you have some straps and a clip meant for use. Um, when you're uh, if you're traveling you could stack this onto a on top of a luggage and that'll hold it onto the uh, the bar work for your luggage uh, if there's a descriptor there's a little picture here that shows you how to use that then on the bottom uh, if you use the waist strap you can clip this around your waist for uh, some more support and then the last feature in the back is actually on the bottom this is the AW, this is the all weather. There, there's an attached uh, little cover to protect it from rain and stuff. So the way that I think I'm able to use this is turn the bag around the front. You can start with the top, work your way down to the bottom. And uh, your bag is gonna be nice and covered. So, yeah. Okay, so uh, in terms of comfort, the bag is definitely comfortable. Um, I don't have a ton of stuff in here. I have a couple lenses, I have my camera body, and then some miscellaneous uh, camera straps and stuff like that. But, um, you know, so I have the, the shoulder straps on like this. I like to use the sternum strap, chest strap, whatever you want to call it. This adds a lot, a lot of support, and I like that. I'm not a fan of the waist, uh, a strap. Uh, I mean, I don't know. But I guess it does kind of give a little bit of support. So that's the, kind of like the comfort part of the bag. I find it comfortable. You know. And uh, again, the fast pack is you can swing the bag around, get to your camera gear, put that stuff away, and uh, get back in business.